I didn't really get much. I got one pair, maybe two pair of shoes a year. And uh, clothes, I said, wear cheaper clothes. That's why I do like Walmart stuff because I was made fun of. For a low price of $159.25, I got 12 kids a pair of shoes. When you buying a $70 pair of shoes for one child, I got 12 kids, 12 kids, shoes for $159, and I'm giving away for free. Mm. Because I had old ass and ones on her. I'm wearing Walmart clothes. I used to be embarrassed to go in Walmart. And I know there's kids out there that's, that's embarrassed that they can't wear what all the other kids is wearing. And an artist of my stature being big as I am, I put on that Walmart clothing. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gon' talk. You know, but we didn't we didn't have much. Yeah. That made you grow up really quick. Yeah, it's like my family lived off of my grandma's disability. Yeah, that, that's the way we was, too. You know what I'm saying? Everybody coming when the first and end of the month to come mm, get some of our money yeah. to pay their bills. Did that make you mad? Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, because I didn't really get much. I got one pair, maybe two pair of shoes a year. And uh, clothes, I said, wear cheaper clothes. That's why I do like Walmart stuff, because I was made fun of. Mm -hmm. Because I had old ass and ones on, or I'm wearing Walmart clothes. I used to be embarrassed to go in Walmart, and I know there's kids out there that's as embarrassed that they can't wear what all the other kids is wearing. And an artist of my stature, being big as I am, I put on that Walmart clothes. For a low price of one fifty nine twenty five, I got twelve kids a pair of shoes. When you buying a seventy dollar pair of shoes for one child, I got twelve kids, twelve kids. Shoes for one fifty nine, and I'm giving away for free. It's all right to wear. It's okay. Yeah, I love uh -huh. that. Also, I'm smarter because I wear it. You know, um, I'm an artist. I wear these cut off t shirts because I wear a t shirt a day. I mm -hmm. sweat it out. Well, I'm gonna sweat out Balenciaga shirt that cost me fifteen hundred, not wear it but one time. Right. When I can put this this uh, one hundred. I like shirt the on. fact you have your head on your shoulder. But have you always been like that, or something that you had to grow into? I mean, yeah, I always wanted those things. But I, I had to get smart. You know, I, when, I, when I got with uh, Nelly, I got, you know, Ali was my mentor. Mm -hmm. And he would tell me all the time, how you come into the game is how you got to lead the game. So he's like, T-Rail, if you come in every day throwing money and flashing money and wearing wearing Gucci, you're going to have to leave. He said, when you're not wearing it, they're going to call you broke. You know, but right now you wear at Walmart. Right, which it all makes sense. But it's just that everybody I know that comes into the game because they never had it. Mm -hmm. They have to like in their mind. Okay, give me the six months to just blow it and just nah. have a good time with nah, it. No, I never so, had that. I never know? had that because okay. my my son got cancer early in my career, mm -hmm. and I used my money to to save his life because mm -hmm. his insurance wouldn't cover his chemo. So I didn't get to buy cars. I didn't get to buy houses. This is my first chain. Wow. This is wow. my first Roly. I He's in remission now. You know now. Thank God. You no, know, yeah, thank God. God thank is God. good all the time. So I didn't get to do those things. I didn't get to do. The, I didn't get the stunt. My stunt was saving my kid's life, and that's that's the biggest flex I can ever give you. Man. How far in your in your career did you um, were you when you found out about him? Right when my dog came out, my dog came out, and that was my mom on fucking fire. You know, I was on fire. Yeah, and I was already touring with Boosie. I was using everything I had just to go on tour with him. Mm -hmm. So right after I did my first tour at Boosie, I had my dog going out the video. Here comes my news and my son got cancer. Wow. So luckily, thank God, I was at the point where I was getting paid shows. I didn't know about doing mixtapes and albums. I had a hot single. All I knew is I had a one track mind. I got to get money to feed, exactly. to, to take care of my kids' health. So I was doing show after show after show and it kind of drowned my buzz out because I was doing so many cities. Mm -hmm. You know, um, then there was artists like- Did that kill people buzz? Yeah, when, when, you, you, ain't dropping, when you ain't dropping constant projects, so he's singing the same things over and yeah, over. Yeah, because I'm really trying to get out here and make some money. Oh, man, because chemo's do. My yeah, son, yeah. it's hard. I can't go in a studio and think and be an artist. All I think yeah. about is... <sighs> Him. And I didn't have a good manager to say, sing about what you're going through. Exa that's what, exactly what I was man. thinking about. That's real. That's real. The first person or anybody said. around you. It doesn't even always have to be yeah. your manager. There's somebody to just, you know, plug that into your tell thought people process. What you, I, I didn't tell people what I was going through when I was going through it. I was just because you had to deal with it by yourself or yeah. you were just that person yeah I had, my manager was he was a promoter he didn't know how to manage mm -hmm. he never he just got me a deal with Empire and, and then he went off by himself I basically was managing myself after for a while I would find random people to come on the road with me ride with me bro and you play like my manager so I can do these shows I'm from Kansas Topeka we don't got everything we don't got nothing 
Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gon' talk.